Recently, we did a video about the confusing naming scheme for the various USB standards. You can check it out up here, but guess what? <laughs> It's time for another update. <laughs> this time, thankfully, the name is simple at least. So let's talk about USB 4. And as the first major USB revision to be released in consumer products since 2009, there's a lot you should know about it. But believe it or not, I bet you already know more than you'd think. You're a smart cookie. You see, USB 4 is actually based on the Thunderbolt 3 specification and is going to share many of the same features, starting with speed. Just like Thunderbolt 3, USB 4 boasts speeds of up to 40 gigabits per second, provided you have a compatible cable, and will exclusively use the USB-C connector. All USB 4 ports and devices will also support USB power delivery for using a device like your laptop to power an external display or quick charge your phone. And there will be an added benefit in that the spec will be able to use all of its extra bandwidth more efficiently. For example, let's say you've got a PC connected to a monitor over USB 4, but you're also using that USB 4 connection to move some files to an external drive. While an older spec would simply split the bandwidth in half and bottleneck your data transfer, USB 4 can intelligently adjust how much bandwidth it assigns to each device. So having your monitor plugged in won't slow down your connection with that external drive. Sweet! But although these features will make USB 4 very useful, it's still important to remember what the differences are between it and Thunderbolt 3. USB 4 is essentially an open version of the Thunderbolt 3 standard, but that doesn't mean they're otherwise exactly the same. Although they share many features and even the same physical connector, a PC or other device with USB 4 built in still may not work with a device designed only for Thunderbolt 3. For example, if you're connecting an external graphics card dock like the Razer Core, or if you're trying to use an external drive enclosure that supports Thunderbolt only, you may find it won't work over a USB 4 connection. So as you might imagine, this is where things get kind of confusing. I mean, what's, what's the point of having a USB standard that's almost but not quite the same as Thunderbolt? So here's the thing. Intel owns the Thunderbolt spec. While they released it to the USB forum in order to make high-speed, versatile connections possible across a broader range of devices, because Thunderbolt is proprietary and owned by one company, device manufacturers have to pay Intel royalties in order to put a Thunderbolt certified port in their gadgets. So then, USB 4 is open and royalty free, making it simpler and cheaper for manufacturers to incorporate it into their products, but they can also choose to include Thunderbolt 3 as well, if they're willing to pay a little more and want additional support from Intel. Confused yet? It gets better, in a bad way. Remember how I said they might not have perfect intercompatibility? Well, the USB 4 spec includes optional features, and it's unclear at this time which USB 4 features will be implemented almost universally versus which ones manufacturers might choose to leave out to save cost or complexity. The good news at this time is that the USB forum expects most devices to support both protocols in practice, as long as you're not buying something on the super cheap end. Plus, like Thunderbolt 3, a USB 4 port should work with all older generations of USB, provided you've got a USB-C to A cable or dongle on hand. Now, USB 4 is not quite here yet. The official spec is still in coming soon mode and device manufacturers will need time to start implementing it. So 2020 is the earliest current estimate. But when the time comes, it may move us closer to a one connector for everything world. Convenient. I just hope it doesn't end up like that time I bought that package of convenient one-size-fits-all underwear. It's a bad time. But if you want to have a good time, check out FreshBooks Cloud Accounting Solutions. FreshBooks works anywhere with the FreshBooks mobile app. You can create professional-looking invoices on the go, snap pictures of your receipts so you don't lose them, and stay on top of important conversations. With FreshBooks, you'll never miss an update. See when a client has viewed their invoice or when an invoice has become overdue easily. Start your 30-day free trial right now at freshbooks.com forward slash techwiki. Is that forward slash? Whoops. If you were wondering whether this was the end of the video, you're right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Check out our other videos. We got lots. <laughs> Comment below with video suggestions. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to TechWiki. <laughs> See you later.